In this video, we're going to take a look at adding a bit more rules to our resources in terms of restraining them by times a day using shift patterns in Simulate. Um, so this is our previous simulation from our last two videos where we added a resource and then we're holding and releasing the resource through this process. But what we also want to do is constrain the resource by the time of day and we're going to do that using the shifts feature. So in this case, um, our simulation is just set up as the default, so it's running five days a week, and it's running from nine in the morning to five in the evening. And what we want to do is add some shift patterns to our resource, so perhaps you know not so many are available at certain times of the day, um, in order to, to add a bit more, you know, if there's potential for that in your simulations, if, if you need that for realism. Um, so in order to do that, we're gonna select our resource object here, and on the Properties tab, there is an option here for Shift Dependent. So right now what we're saying is that throughout the simulation, there's, there's 10 resources available. Um, what we're going to do is constrain this by, by time of day. So this will immediately open the Shift Availability window. Um, we don't have any shifts yet, so we can click on Shift Work Patterns. And here we can start to create new shifts. So you can see it will automatically name them um, when you create them. Here, I'll just we'll leave this as day shift, and we can say this, this will run from uh, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So you can choose a weekly pattern, so should you have different uh, shift patterns for different days of the week, you can certainly do that. In this example, we'll keep it simple, and we'll just have this uh, as the pattern for every day in this simulation. And what we're going to do is create another shift. Um, we'll go ahead and just leave that as night shift. And we'll run that from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock, which is the end of the simulation. So what we're doing there, um, we, can, we can check this out in a Gantt view. Um, but essentially what we're doing there is we're giving these resources a break um, from 12 to 1. So we could, you know, that could be representing something like a lunch break. Um, or you know, if there's any other sort of gap um, in times between when the resources work. Um, so once we've done that, we now have our availability for this resource. So right now you can see that we've actually got zero available um, for each of these shifts. So we need to click on each of the shifts and then type in the availability down here. So we can say, sure, we have 10 available during the day and then after lunch we can say we only have seven available. So now what will happen is that will automatically uh, reflect in our simulation as we run it. So if we slowly run it here you'll see that there will be 10 available. Of course they're going to get used up um, by the simulation itself. And we'll just speed this up just a little bit until we get to 12 o'clock here. And now the, the number of resources in the simulation are, have dropped down to seven. So again, you don't need to add shifts if, if there's, there's no use for it. Uh, it. It could be useful if um, you're modeling working patterns or you're looking to optimize the, you know, the, the hours that your resources work um, in, your, in your process. However, you don't, don't feel that you need to, to add shifts. Um, some simulations will have the same number of resources available throughout the, the day, regardless of the times. You know, for example, if it's um, machines in a factory or, or something like that. So you won't need to add this in if your number doesn't vary. Hopefully, um, using shifts is something that's now made clear and that you can use this for your simulations.